I just want to say welcome to everybody that is busy watching me and joining me for this evening and I hope you're having a great time. Sorry if this um, run is, is late or early in the morning whenever you receive it but I hope you enjoy every minute of it. The Lord's given me a few things you'll see behind my head. I'm just going to move my head. It says laughter. Might be back to front there. And then I've got a little doll propped up on the side here. And that is love. A drop of blood. God's, blood. God's drop of blood. He's just reminding me of his love. And so the red represents his love. The blue represents the heavens. God's perfect color is the sky. And he loves you and he loves me. And South Africa is going through a very interesting time. And I'm going to give the word as the Father wants me to give it. And I hope I'm in line with him. I hope that I hear him. And I hope that I can carry it out to your ears. I don't want you just to hear it. I want you to listen and go and do. Because that's the most important. I'm going to start with when I opened the word of God. I got um, Esther 4. And where you look at Esther 4 is where Mordecai was actually, he went in sackcloth. And he tore his clothes. Um, he went and he put ash on it and he went out into the midst of the city and he cried with a loud and a bitter cry. A loud and a bitter cry. I don't know what this means to you, but for you that are obviously listening that really want to hear God's voice, it is time for us to start to really seek the Father's voice for South Africa. I think I would like to speak to the men of South Africa first. And before I speak to the men of South Africa, I want to speak to the DA leader, Moshimani. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm just asking the Lord to give me such revelation for you. Because it is your time. He has spoken before. Maybe you didn't get the recording. You didn't hear it. Somebody didn't pass it on to you. I hope this comes to your ears. Father's not happy, hey? He's not happy at all. He's not happy with any political party that's going racist. He's not going, he's not happy with mankind because he did not make us different colors for any specific reason but to glorify him, to glorify him. And he chose the color that we are, not you or I can change that. Because of the pigmentation of our skin, because of the complexity of 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 each one's dna on earth here while we're living it's got nothing to do with you and i it's got to do with our relationship with the king my heart is actually crying for you my money i don't know how to explain it to you it's like almost as if there's no turning point for you to stand up as a godly man to say who you stand for for you to actually make a decree and a declaration, just like I'm doing, that I'm standing for the King of Kings. Jesus Christ is his name. Yeshua. Yeshua, the most high king over this nation. And God is calling to you and he's saying, where are you, my son? Where are you? Has mammon got hold of you? Has mammon got hold of you so that you cannot see the truth? Sure, I've got a heavy, heavy, heavy heart for you. So heavy, I don't even know how to explain it. God is not happy. I pray that you don't lose it with this election. I really hope not. I hope that you don't pull the whole DA down with you. I, You know, Jonah was on the boat. And that's what the Lord's giving me. Jonah was on the boat. And the storm came. And he was on that boat in the storm. Father, forgive. Forgive us, Father. Father, forgive us. That we see not what you're doing. We are in a storm, Father. And where are we in this boat? Jonah was on the boat. And he was feeling very comfortable. And he was sleeping at the bottom of the boat. And they asked him. 
what is happening? And he said, well, he has to admit it's because of him that the storm is here. Is there maybe people in Parliament that are God's children that are supposed to be standing up? And my heart goes out because, my money, you've got a black skin and you're in Parliament. I've got a white skin. I keep on speaking and speaking and speaking. And hoping one day somebody will hear me like an Esther and say, Esther, we need you in Parliament. You were talking about the white people having preference about the black people. You've got no cooking clue, my friend. God's not happy with you. Don't play the race game. Nobody has preference over each other. My example is exactly where I am at. I'm a white woman. And my calling is for Parliament, my money. That's my calling. That's my destiny. That's all I'm sold out for. You got a black skin and you want to tell me because you didn't have what you were supposed to have in apartheid era. And that's why those that are black are not getting where they're supposed to get. May I remind you? Every cent that I've worked for, every study material that I've studied, I received from heaven's gates. God is our bank manager and man is the teller. And God used many people to pay my study material so that I can qualify. My money, it's not time to play games now. I ask you from the bottom of my heart, if you are a preacher man and you're in Parliament and you're not reaching Jesus Christ, you're losing your position, I want you to hear very nicely. Because the time that we're in now is Esther and Haman. You're either for the God of the Bible or you're against him. If the DA does not stand for Jesus Christ, then you need to get out of that political party and you need to go and stand for a political party that loves Jesus Christ. I've never ever heard the DA once mentioning biblical principles or any biblical values. And what's coming out of your mouth lately is one and the same like the ANC, like the EFF, like the BLF. You did not choose your color. I did not choose my color. God chose it. And he didn't choose your you didn't choose your position. God put you there. I didn't choose my position. God put me here. But one day, the cards will be changed. I must remind you that God finds favor and grace with those that love him. just want to read this to you. Esther 2, verse 17. And it's especially for... Where's he, my money? Please uh, be with me. I, I, I've got to do what God wants me to do. And the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained, trained, obtained grace and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. If you want to see God's favor in your life, my money. It's no use going to preach in a church where there's God's children and you don't speak Jesus Christ in Parliament. God says he hates double mindedness. And unluckily, double mindedness is what is coming out of your mouth lately. Don't compare white with black, you're in trouble. Don't compare race, you're in trouble. If you don't like the white men, then you won't like Israel either. Because Israel is part of God's plan. I don't know where the Lord is going, but he's trying to show you something. It's time to stand up for who you are, take back your crown, and surrender to what God wants in your life. I just want to pray over you. Father, I pray for 
I am only um, this evening and I thank you, Lord. Thank you for this man. I ask you that he will surrender to your ways. He will not listen to the whispers of those that are promising things and stuff, speaking things that are making him confused. He knows the truth and that you said the truth will set him free. I ask you right now, Father, have mercy on him. May his eyes go open. May this message reach him. May he realize that he's called not to be Jonah. But in the end, Jonah went and he took a message and he warned the people that my Imani is there to warn the people, to tell the people about Jesus Christ, even in Parliament. Father, I thank you that you help him with his choices and that he will stand for the truth, he will stand for righteousness, he will not join the crowd, he will not speak up against your word. Lord, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you that you heal our land, you heal our land and you heal our leaders in Parliament so that they will be good representatives, especially the men in Parliament. We need godly representatives, Lord, in Parliament. The men that cannot stand up for you, Father, pray that you will replace them with godly men, those that will not compromise, Father. We need Daniels, we need Davids, we need Esthers, we need Deborahs, we need Baraks, we need all those that are kings and queens to go into Parliament, Lord. I ask you that those that are there that you've called will rise up mighty for you, and not a fear, standing together as one voice to change this nation back to a Judeo-Christian country. Thank you for those 400 seats, Father. Elijah did not have fear. And I stand up as an Esther tonight, Father, and I ask you to honour her. Get her to Parliament, Lord, to help do what she's supposed to do. Thank you for your Presence tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That nobody else opens doors but you. And you know everything, Lord. We give you grace, we give you honor. Bless my money, Lord. Bless him, Father. Bless him to make the right choices. Like in Deuteronomy 28, you said, I will bless you, and you have many blessings. But if you do not follow me, and my commandments. If you did give an ultimatum, there are curses. Many people don't want to believe that. And that's why they don't understand when they go into trouble and they have a hard time, Father. They don't understand that you are the beginning and the end. You're the olive and the top. The old and the new came together as one man. And you were that one man. That grace will not be abused. Because you are a king of all kings, I thank you this evening that you hear my voice and you send it out and you make it carry weight to change our parliament back to your godly parliament, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you that you hear my prayer tonight and you hear the prayer of the rest of South Africa praying for our brother in parliament and our brothers and our sisters in parliament those that are acting like they don't care which way our government goes, Father, I ask you to replace them with godly people. Saul was replaced by David. I ask you, Father, for a miracle. Esther went to the king, spoke the truth, and Haman was destroyed. I pray this evening that you hear my prayer. Destroy every Haman that is rising to bring chaos in South Africa. I thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking. And thank you that you remind me of Esther 4 verse 14. So I don't speak in a time like this. And if your children don't speak in a time like this, Father, you will bring deliverance from somewhere else that me and my house, we will not be saved. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful night. Bless everyone watching. Amen. If you want to contact me, 082 I'm in South Africa, Limpopo. 
and then to be part of this we are going to change South Africa 082-93-11-418 you can also email me on hope prayer and action at gmail.com that's how God wants to change South Africa hope is the nation's name God wants to change South Africa to be a powerful lighthouse to bring hope to the nations. I hope you're going to be one of them that decides to stand with me. Blessings. Take care.